Welcome back to another Mobile Centrics Tips and Tricks where I show you either a repair or a product. Today is kind of a mix of both, featuring a product that is literally gold. Let's get into the video. This little box here is amazing. It's solder explosion proof, 24 karat gold plated foil. We have different thicknesses here of 0 0.08 millimeters, 0 0.1 millimeter, and 0.12 millimeters. Let's open it up and take a look. Inside we've got the three different jars with all those little spacers. My kids might think that this is just glitter, but it's definitely going to make so many jobs easier. Let me show you what I mean. Here I've got the 0 0.08 millimeter thickness spacers. I'm going to pour out a few here onto the stencil that I've already lined up. I'm going to carefully place them in some holes, kind of spacing them out somewhat. Now I can use my solder paste and fill in all of the stencil. I've had a few casualties here with some of them coming out. And I'm going to wipe away the excess. And I have enough spacers and, and all the crucial spots. We should be good. I'm going to take some hot air, carefully go over and uh, create nice solder balls on each one of these joints. Taking my time to go nice and slowly all the way around the border. And a very nice and satisfying. Now I'm gonna take the time to line up the board properly here so that I can turn on the, the heating pad and get things to sit nice and properly. Now I'm gonna carefully nudge with my tweezers just to make sure as it falls into place that it is aligned nice and nice and straight. Now I'm pretty sure that things are lined up and that it's settled. I'm gonna let it cool down so I can look at it under a microscope and see if we've got good connections. And what I'll probably end up doing is coming back and positioning these little arms to kind of give it pressure. I'll he reheat it back up to temperature, turn it off and leave the, e the, uh, the pressure engaged while it cools down so that I know that I have a solid joint all the way around, so. Now I'm satisfied that things are lined up, but I think we could get a little closer to the board. So let's go ahead and put it back on the heat plate and see if we can get closer. All right, I really like the way that it's positioned. I'm gonna take these clamps here, I'm gonna put pressure. In plenty of different spots here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back on, let it get back up to temperature and I can cool it down and turn it off. All right, we're at temperature now. Let's take this guy off now. And I really like the way that that gap is uniform all the way across on all sides. Definitely closed up that gap there. It looks as good as factory. And here to the scope, you can see just how good this really looks. So this product I found to be a game changer for me when it comes to working on these sandwich boards. When it comes time to reball them, I no longer have to worry about the board being uneven. I can simply apply pressure over the entire uh, board and these will prevent the boards from coming in contact with each other and squeezing out, creating all sorts of chaos. This right here, although small, Definitely something I recommend if you're doing any type of sandwich board repair. You can get all of the tools and products that you've seen in this video on our website at mobilecentrics.com. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.